Hello, I'm ABX Slicker and welcome back to the video. So as you're all probably aware by now, on this channel I tend to go about 50-50 split between covering Minecraft seeds every Sunday and covering Minecraft maps because there's so much content in the marketplace that is available for you to download, it's almost impossible to know what's worth your time and what's entirely not because clearly it's not worth going through and buying every one of these bits of marketplace content and that would cost you quite a lot of money even if you did want to do it. So what stuff is worth your money and it's really tricky to decide. However, in the beta 1.2.5 update they actually added ratings to the marketplace Place. This means that if you look around, you can see how every you know piece on the store has ratings, which are determined by the community. And although right now this is only determined by beta users, it's interesting because almost everything in the store has a four to five star rating. Most things, as you can see, the Cube Theater 4.8, uh, Bland Zen 4.7, five star. Uh, pretty much everything has either no rating or it has a really high rating. However, there are a few exceptions to this, and I figured why not go through the lowest rated piece of content in today's video? And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So hopefully you do all enjoy it. Like it if you do like it, because it helps out. The channel up. and let's say you do want to know where exactly the worst map ever is and if there's any redeeming features in it because again I really was trying to find a, a rating lower than 3.2 for a while and I think I found the lowest rating that does exist again as of right now I, I you know you could probably go in and I could rate something one star that has no rating just yet and that might count but no I wanted to go through an actual map that exists that was rated lowly by people uh, you know that aren't just me and the one that I found was the lowest is actually the idea of the survival spawn thing so the survival spawns if you look around them they all tend to have fairly low ratings because you know presumably I'm pretty sure you have to buy them to download them however the one you'll find that is the lowest because again you see like free stars for like tutorials because people don't like the basic stuff people want something that's new and exclusive because if you're going to pay money for Minecraft you generally want something that's a bit more impressive than just like here's a basic thing so you can see like you know these maps get some high ratings you can see the basic maps get low ratings and the lowest rating of all comes from this map just over here it's Dustfield Survival Spawn with a 2.2 star rating which is ridiculously low but you know is it is it worth you being so low is there actually a meaning for that well let's go into it right now and let's show you around the worst marketplace content ever and bear in mind uh, you know this is something where I went in trying to you know work out what's good and work out what's bad because for this many people not to like it because again they, they must have bought it at some point it's clearly not a map you pick at random because you know it's not a map that's easily hateable it doesn't like look like it's terrible it just looks like a pretty decent so I was spawn but when you go into it by the way this costs 160 coins or one dollar uh, or just under a pound I think it is so it costs less than one of your local currency probably unless it's like, you know, basically it costs just over or just under a pound, euro, dollar, etc. all those sorts of currencies. And you might wonder what you get for that grand, grand price. And the simple answer is a spawn world. So the spawn world is advertised as being like a great start to a survival world. Instead of starting survival with a seed or starting survival, you know, just bl uh, blindly, why not start it with a survival spawn? And obviously this costs a dollar, but in exchange for that one dollar, you get some, you know, custom built stuff, right? And as you can see right here, it is a map which looks pretty exciting. It's a theme a lot of Hunger Game maps I particularly go for. Uh, it also looks like a, a lot like um, that. Uh, I feel what the map's called, but Frontier on a Minecraft battle mode, it looks a lot like these maps, and it just basically means you get to start with these things pre built, and then you can work up from there. So you spawn just on the side of this train, where as you can see, you can walk into the train, and wow, there's a train near the spawn. I mean, I don't really see the point in it personally, but there is a train near the spawn, which looks pretty cool. And as you can see, it's on these giant train tracks, and it's a pretty interesting looking thing, right? And then we've got this miniaturized, uh, you know, like desert town, and then we've got a few more other structures around here and then that is what you get for this world so you get a little bit of a campfire here as you can see it's got some text on there which says uh, <laughs> you know it's, it's like a little guy selling so, oh sorry it's a guy selling some stuff only has a health potion but still kind of interesting if we go all the way over to here to the end of the railway tracks you can see how like it randomly just ends into the desert at a train station that isn't served by the train or that the train tracks don't even go all the way to um, and then also we get like a couple of houses over here and uh, the, f the problem with this world though in my opinion because it has Lots of fairly small bits, like you can see one fairly small set of buildings, a little wagon, so that's two, uh, this little spawn area, that's three, and then if we keep on going this way instead, again, it really follows the railroad, railroad. Uh, this might as well be called the railroad pack, we've got a fourth one over here, these six buildings, and then on top of this mountain, we got some teepees, I think that's what the American term is, right? But, you know, we got these little tent things that are used by Native Americans in the West, something like that, but yeah, you can see uh, they're pretty impressively built, but the purpose of any of them really comes down to, like, what are you going to do with all of this? Because the the problem is, is the world has two conflicting purposes it's like use this as a survival world and then also it gives you all this stuff but then you know even if you want if, if you want to make the argument that like oh yeah i start survival worlds like this because it means i can build on top of them well you can't really build on top of this too much because everything is so complete and everything is just kind of separated from each other anyway so yeah if you start the world and you want to use this as your world you know as your place it's a pretty nice little set of buildings but like 
the houses are not set up for survival. The houses are set up to look like they're in a desert. This is a bank, for instance. Do you want, I think it's a bank. I mean, we could check the, I think it's got a dollar sign, right? Yeah, it's a dollar sign. It's a lot like Frontier, in fact, suspiciously right Frontier. But you can see if you look around this place, it's a bank and like, do you want a bank as a house? Not really, but it's cool to have in your town, right? And uh, yeah, even if you get past that point, because I've said that many times before, uh, if, if you do agree that survival spawns are important, even if they don't have a point, they don't help your survival game. It's just like, well, I want some builds. I'll pay a dollar for it. The problem with this world is it's all kind of disjointed from each other and separated, and none of it really has too much of a point. And also, it tries to do too many things at once. So there's a tiny bit of story found around the place. You saw that, uh, you know, wagon where there was, uh, you know, it's like ailments uh, or potions and stuff like that. In this, there's just random signs from time to time saying we lost Sam to the mines. He didn't come back. Who is Sam? Where are you know what? <laughs> what, what are all these questions? There's nothing answered to it. There's no. It's not like an adventure map. It's just every now and then there's some flavor like Sam's room. Like, okay, so Sam has a room. I mean, not anymore, because he was lost to the miners. And, oh, you can see, past the two orange lips, you'll find what you seek. And it's like, I mean, oh, we got another one. My career has begun. So, like, they're writing things on the wall, which doesn't make much sense. Uh, and it's not a bench map, though, because there's only, you know, there's only the tiniest of tiny things here. It's like the tiny bit of story you add to a thing, but it doesn't even really then make too much sense. And my point being with all of this is it's a little bit of a weird map. Like, it's a great way to get inspiration, maybe, for a build you want to do and to start from scratch. It's it's a great way to have something at your spawn so you can recognize it. But as an idea of like, you could work on this in survival or you could use it as survival base, one, survival base, again, there's nowhere here that's perfect for that. I mean, maybe you could argue all the way down here, uh, if you look all the way at the end here. So if you follow the tracks all the way to the edge, uh, again over here, you can see how there's this nice little fenced off area. I would argue this has some purpose, but the fence doesn't go all the way around it, so it's not really that protected. And then there's, uh, you know, it comes with some mules, which, um, I mean, that's nice. Again, that's something you don't get in every world, but it gives you some mules, and then it gives you this house right here. This house, you could argue, yep, it's entirely fit for survival, I guess. Looks kind of nice, looks like I built it, but then is this worth a dollar by itself is you know stop you know pay a dollar so you can have this and the little hut next to it i don't think you are and if you think like oh yeah well this is just something great to build on top of it's like well i mean the train tracks end but the, the train tracks are built have such annoying blocks like can you get i think it's blue stain clay right oh no it's cyan terracotta but if can you get cyan terracotta enough so to build this anywhere well even if you can as you can see the there's just giant mountains all the way here so you can't even build from that anyway and that's why i think these maps fail because they're sold as survival spawns but really it's just like let's build something around the spawn and make a tiny map and they sell it for a lot less a dollar but the problem is is you you know just selling it for less isn't important they, they, they need to give these maps a purpose and uh, right now this map just doesn't really have one like what am I what am I meant to do a bit because you might then think well the the clear selling point is the terrain around it and there actually is a couple of things worth noting in the terrain around this place first of all it's the fact that it spawns the Mesa Bryce biome these are quite rare and if you like them you've got one but then besides that the terrain around here is not only just you know like not exciting it's not just that you wouldn't want this for survival it's that it's actively boring like unless you love mesa biomes and you want some uh, in which case there's seeds which will do better than this um then you're just going to find a lot of mesa biome with nothing too much going on here again i confirm for you there's nothing exciting if you go really far this way i think you can find there's a ravine with like you know actually let me show you this right here because i thought it was, it's like somewhat interesting but even then it's like it's a small thing there's like a ravine all this distance away there's some gold in it and if you go into this little bit here if i'm not mistaken you'll find yourself a couple of chests and a skeleton spawn so you know that's that's interesting that's nice but it's not changed it's not touched in any way i think if you're going to make a survival spawn i think they need to add some challenges or pick a really good seed already uh, so that when they build this stuff you kind of get multiple things at once whereas this is honestly worse than picking a seed like if you have uh, options for starting a new survival world you can start one blindly see what happens you can use a seed or you can potentially use one of these worlds but why would you ever pay a dollar when a seed will give you a better result and a more natural looking one for the most part again i feel like there's some really good building ideas here but the fact that it's all here and all like half done like this bridge seems a bit weird uh, the railway track just kind of ends it all seems a little bit uh, forced in my opinion but also uh, as you can see right here there's one other amazing thing it has and I feel like this is what you need to have in a survival spawn you need to have more of this than just one thing uh, again maybe they say like well for one dollars it's too expensive but you know then 
why even have a map if it's like if you're gonna limit it so much then it's like is that even worth selling it all but as you can see it's an abandoned mine shaft uh, abandoned mine shafts in uh, mesa biomes look like this it's pretty cool but the cool thing about it in my opinion is the fact that they actually customize the blocks so it looks extra real it's like a customized structure and that's you know that's exciting enough by itself it's filled with ores too you might spot those as we run around and if you go all the way through the end of this and you can fight off the spawners because there's spawners in pretty much every corner so if you want more mob spawners uh, you have to destroy all the spawners so there's zombies here then there's a skeleton spawner then on the right there's a zombie spawner yeah there is then if we go even further down than that i think there's a creeper spawner just next to this thing at the end and uh, you know maybe that simulates like the thing and it's it's kind of exciting like oh yeah you go this distance you get a diamond you get some sapphire you get some emerald and it feels like a real challenge that you have to do yourself um so yeah there's like i, I feel like there's some benefit in this they remix an existing structure they made it awesome in my opinion uh but the problem is is this is the only thing the world offers in terms of actual survival stuff they they said it's a survival spawn but is it really for survival? I mean, maybe if you're making a server or a realms and you want like a focal point and you want to like set the theme already, but, and you know, then, then you could maybe justify the $1 asking price because it's less than your realm. But I feel like this sort of stuff needs to have, if it's meant for one player or two people playing together, then you need to have some form of actual survival things to do. Again, for, for a group of like 30 players or 10 players on a realm, I guess you can only have, uh, for a group of 10 players on a realm, you could see this world being something like, oh yeah, so expand the blittage and make sure it's, uh, you know, this beam in any direction. Or, you know, you can make a railroad road and just link back here. But this is our spawn area. As you can see, this is our communal bank where we store all the communal gold. This is where we all go to drink. And, you know, there's some, like, kind of theming to that. But in terms of, again, the actual wording of the map, I can see why this is one of the worst maps of all time. But it clearly isn't much worse than all the other maps. And I want to clarify right now that, you know, that if you like... a desert themed map then you have a, like lots of money in minecraft coins you want to blow then i would say yeah go ahead give it a try might be your thing maybe you love this little hut with its horses maybe you that's what you want in a world so yeah anyway let, let me know what you think about this world in the comments down below do you think it's worthy of the worst map of all time uh title because that's what the community is apparently registered and um besides that i hope you all enjoyed this video uh i let me know what you think of these uh slightly different uh, i guess ideas for things and i guess i'll see you all in the next video thank you very much for watching have have a nice day, turn on notifications, and goodbye.